What is the value of the following expression? Let's start with the first step in our order of operations, parentheses. Here we have three groups of parentheses. One, two, three. Let's start from left to right. In our first group of parentheses, 32 minus 16 will give us 16. Then in the second set, 4 plus 5 will give us 9. And in the third set, there are multiple operations happening here. So let's pause and use PEMDAS to resolve this set of parentheses. There are no parentheses inside of this set, but there are exponents. So we have 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, and that'll give us 9. We can then bring down the minus 10. There is no multiplication or division, but there is addition and subtraction. 9 minus 10 will give us negative 1. Now that we've resolved all three sets of those parentheses, we can go back, rewrite the expression, and continue applying order of operations to solve. The first set of parentheses gave us 16. That was being divided by the second set of parentheses, which gave us 9. Then that was being multiplied to the third set of parentheses, which is negative 1. And then that was divided by 5. Now, we can go back to applying order of operations. We've done parentheses, there are no exponents, so we're on to multiplication and division. Here we have 16 divided by 9 and negative 1 divided by 5. However, 9 cannot go evenly into 16, nor can 5 go evenly into 1. So what's best to do here is rewrite both of these as fractions. And then we can continue within the same step to do that multiplication instead of division. When multiplying fractions, we multiply straight across the top in our numerators and straight across the bottom in our denominators. 16 times negative 1 will give us negative 16. 9 times 5 will give us 45, making our final answer negative 16 over 45.